Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another video. And today I'm going to teach you how to beat the language barrier between you and a student that doesn't speak your language, that is about to learn your language, and uh, you don't have a language in common to communicate. So how do you do that? Uh, for example, imagine you're an English teacher, you only speak English, you have a Chinese student. How do you do that? So here's the, what I do personally. So first of all, I use uh, this, a uh, Google Sheets. So the beautiful, the beautiful things about that, so you should probably up, write a uh, student name, uh, name, uh, let's see, what do you call it? Name, all right. Then you call it a vocabulary, or it depends on your language. For me, my language with French is gonna be vocabulaire, vocabulary is the same, no matter what. Then you ask your student the email address, then you share with him and he can have access to that and he can edit, he can do anything on it. So here is what I do. So first of all, uh, I'm going to show you, but why do you use that? So imagine that your student is just learning. He knows anything, nothing at all about your language. So you need to teach it the basic. So let's say if you start with a student that is a complete beginner, doesn't know anything about your language, how do you do that? So first there is like a, at least a thousand words, the most common word, that's probably you have to, to do something about that. Maybe, I don't know, just create a curriculum with those 10,000 words and repeat them in a, in a way that they can learn it. So here's what I do, for example, that, this is my, my complete beginner student. What I do, I do that. So as you can see, bonjour, bienvenue. So they, they, uh, they don't know. I, say, I try to explain, say bonjour, bienvenue. They don't understand. I say, okay, no problem. So here's what I do. So in French, I wrote like bonjour. Here, bienvenue. So here, this is the formula that you have. If you don't want to, you can translate manually if you want. But for the sake of it, and don't waste time at all. And you show your student that, that they will be so happy. So what you do, you do equal. Now you start to write Google. And now you have to, you can choose Google Translate. Okay. Then you click here, at you, because you're going to translate from that. Okay. So now up, you do that. You quote it. So the language is French, the first language and the target language, the one you want to translate to. So quote it again, bam, and uh, you quote again, English, quote, and you close parentheses, enter, you have a formula, Ta -da! So you come here and now you see the, the small square, now you go down, so you can, infinity is gonna do it for you, welcome. So good, so now your student have access to it. So if your student wanna ask you something, so you can show him, for example, you say, uh, you, you let him write something here. You you show him, say, write something. So he say, oh, I don't know. Huh? Can you repeat? Can you repeat, please? So now here you do the same things. Be careful now you have to, to swap the languages. So same, you write Google, go translate. So now click here. Oop. Okay, so now we quote it. So now this time is from English. We'll quote again, French. Well, I, I show you with just English and French, but if it's Italian, it's gonna be I-T. If it's Spanish, it's gonna be E-S. If it's Chinese, it's like Z-H. So you, are, you have to, to find a language code because it depends on your language, okay? It's very important. Up, you do that, Ta -da. so the student can write anything. Uh, but the most common things they're gonna write, you can like pre-write it yourself. See, I don't understand. So now you come back here, you extend it from the square. See, it's loading. Je ne comprends pas. See, this is magic. So you do your class like this. For example, now I'm here. Bonjour, bienvenue. Okay. So the first few words I have to make simple is that leçon de français numéro one, like a French lesson number one. So for me, I use Zoom. I always take my, my pen and I, and I show that things. I say, okay, you can see here. La, oui, non, oui, non. okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, tu comprends, you understand, good. Now you go, mm, tu, uh, same, take the, huh? 
tu aimes le cinéma. Le cinéma, c'est un peu comme un friendly word, parce qu'il dit en anglais, il dit en français, c'est oh, des statues en anglais, c'est oh, tu aimes le cinéma. Mais oui ou non oh, Oui, 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 ou non, non, non. Ok. So that maybe up, you, you go back to them, you can write it, tu aimes le cinéma. Up, oh, click here, you, wait. Oh, you like the cinéma So it's not a proper way to make a question, but it's just a way to start to make things rolling, to have few words, to make them, to, to learn first few things. Because you, you may don't know, but from English and French, there's like many, many similarities, many similar words. Of course, the pronunciation is different, but as you can see, I do that. Like, tu joues au football, tu joues à un jour. It's like you play football, football is the same word. So I do that. And I start with the first simple dialogue. Oh, bonjour, comment ça va? Uh, hello, how are you? So you can write it there. Huh? And you answer, you say, you make it repeat. Hmm, ça va très bien. Uh, very good. Merci et toi, thank you. And you. So you get the, the idea, you make it repeat. You make it learn that. You come back here. Then you ask more things. Tu bois du café, café, coffee, similar. Tu aimes la musique, music, music. So you learn a few phrases. Now you start with an honest small dialogue. Comment tu t'appelles? What's your name? And that's it. You build from it and you make it repeat. You use that. So for me, what I do is like um, after I change the name here, I just put the date. For example, today, uh, this is uh, um, 2801. That's what I do. And the next time, I just add one for the for the for the next lesson. So what I do, I just probably take that, copy, you go shift two, and you paste it. So you already have all the the formula with you, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, now you have it for next time. Now you click here, you can just extend, you extend here, and uh, you do exactly the same process. You probably don't need to do that. Also, beware, be careful, because sometimes like Google Translate is not accurate. But for the beginning, it's very, very useful. I mean, you don't waste time. Uh, you write something, the student can write something, and you really can understand each other. Uh, so use your hand, use your face, and especially use that. <laughs> it's very, very important. This is an extreme case that the student like doesn't know anything about your language at first. So you may use that for a couple of months in order to, to really break the barrier. And after that, you, you're going to be used to your student and you don't need that. But at first, it's a great tool. It's a great thing that you can do. And as I say, as you can see here, now go something easy so, and you make it repeat, repeat over and over again. Don't forget to put all those sentences here the and they can review it. And at the end, you, you tell me how you go here. Yeah, probably the last vocabulary is here. You say that, please. Oh, okay, no. Okay. I will probably go here. Yeah, but you get the idea, like, uh, please review for next. Listen. Now, come to click here. Well, that's it. S'il vous plaît, révisez pour la prochaine leçon. You say, oh, okay, okay, okay. And next time, uh, you can restart with that. You start the class. At first, you say, okay, we repeat with this in the screen that you share on the screen. You repeat, you repeat. I say, okay, now poop. you stop sharing. I say, okay, now let's do it again. Okay. Uh, I think you really get the idea. Okay. So that's pretty much for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you to have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.